Ron here, and today we are shiny hunting for Poliwag. Um, yeah, because I kind of need one. Anyways, we're at 11, and uh, a couple of Poliwags are on screen, so we're going to start there. I do not know if I can get the second thing to work, but uh, if not, it just might be that when you're surfing, you can't use both things, but we'll find out. Oh. Anyways, let's go get them. Let's go catch them. Let's go. Uh, apparently you cannot, so... Oh man, come on! Don't do me like this, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Yep, so, uh, yeah, getting to 11 is just extremely helpful, and, uh... Saves a bunch of time, because they're gonna start popping up like crazy, and we might go to shiny in the next, uh... 10 to 30 minutes, so we'll just keep going until one pops up. Luckily, we're, we're also going to catch Poly Whirl if it comes up shiny. It doesn't really matter. Just if uh, Magikarp pops up, we're not catching that. Ah! We will not be catching Magikarp, folks. Oh, what the hell is that? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, there's a fun animation. Good. Good to know what it looks like. I caught it anyways. Don't need to run. We're up to 16. So things to discuss, because a lot has happened, uh, not really in the Let's Go metagame, but more like Sun and Moon. I mean, I was going to save this for maybe a video, but I really don't care that much. So might as well just like combine these two videos. Look guys, Zygarde being suspected in Sun and Moon OU, or Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon OU, like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, like, everybody wanted a test, okay? Everybody wanted a test, uh, of some kind, right? So at least, like, I can't be angry about that, right? But they had to choose the one damn Pokemon of all the good Pokemon in the metagame that was no chance of, like, really being broken. Honestly, I, I, I don't understand how people can justify Zygarde being broken at all. I don't get it. I... Like, okay, it's got glare. Ooh, glare! Seriously, they could have, like, suspected Magearna, or... Or Kartana, or Ash Greninja, or... Anything else. Besides Zygarde. And maybe gotten a ban, or at least some controversy, or some talk. Or you know what else they could have suspected? Landorus T. You know? Like... <laughs> I don't like it's like they're and it took them a year to do this really really a year a whole year to just say oh yeah let's uh su let's uh suspect Zygarde now yeah here's what I'm afraid of it's not that it's gonna get banned because I really don't think it's gonna get banned for being broken honestly that's not why people are gonna ban it but I'm afraid that like people will vote ban just to have something new and fresh because this is Gen 7 right now, Gen 7 OU, is the worst metagame ever, perhaps. The most unbalanced, the most uh, stale, you know, nothing new and fresh of any metagame. And that includes GSC and RBY, like Gen 1 and 2. Seriously, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon sucks right now. So, like, I, I, I get you know, testing something. I'm really glad they finally did, but they chose a Pokemon that I don't think is really broken, and honestly, outside of glare usage, like using glare and getting parahacks, I don't see it being that good. I don't know. 
Here's the thing about Zygarde, look. Okay, so like, let's let's look at like Nag and Adele, for instance, right? Uh, you know, which is an obviously quick band, right? And it was obviously broken. So let's look at a Pokemon that's obviously broken. Like, no question at all. No, no, like, oh, if you ban this move or ban that or did that. Like, with March Shadow, you could do some things to, to maybe make it normal, to make it not broken. But with Nag and Adela, it was just straight up broken, right? I mean, Beast Boost is probably the most broken, but... Uh, right, so with Nag and Adele, it was one set, okay? One singular set that breaks everything in the game, right? So it's... You don't have to, like, figure out which aspect of Nag and Adele is broken. It's literally all of it. So, you know, um, but with Zygarde, it's like, okay, what part of Zygarde do you even attribute to being broken, if any at all? It's more like it's just this odd collection of Zygarde quote, brokenness, you know, nothing like concrete, nothing that you go say, oh, yep, there it is right there, you know, like, it's more like, it's okay, it's got glare, oh, and I have Papa Berry is really good, oh, yeah, and sometimes Choice Band is really hard to counter, oh, and sometimes that Z Ground really gets my checks, and, oh, yeah, Sub Coil, some shit can't break that, you know, and, like, oh, Thousand Arrows hits everything and is pretty much a free move, like, okay, on Zygarde, okay, you could say that Thousand Arrows is the thing that breaks Zygarde, right? You know, like, obviously that's what makes Zygarde good, right? But is it really broken? I mean, we're talking about a move that is resisted by grass types. And, like, if that's just what it is, I mean, that's just how it goes. I mean, <laughs> I'm not, like, I don't know. I'm very non I'm not for banning it at all not that I'm gonna go get Rex anyway and I really don't care what happens it, it, go ban it for all I care like just to make Verlicify mad just do it oh my god the hell did you see it like jumped three times in a row like what the hell and then torn what the hell okay we're good right Okay, we good. All right. We're at 25. Okay. Okay, which one did I get? Okay. Also, I don't know how I did it, but all of a sudden the circle is green for Poliwag. So, you know, that's, that's Gucci. That's good. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, so... Back to Zygarde, because I just like I feel like I feel like the council, the OU council, for whatever generation it's been, has been completely out of touch with the metagame ever since um Oh like I mean since Gen 5, especially like with the the banning or the Swift Swim complex ban, like uh you know I'd say out of touch then, but really since, like, the beginning of Gen 6, they've been really out of touch with how the how to ban stuff properly and how to go about it, and, like, after Aegislash, after they banned Aegislash, right, that was probably the last good ban they ever made that was, like, okay, this has no controversy around it. Oh, okay, Aegislash was controversial, but... Or just, like, wow, this is... You know, just their handling of the metagame has been very poor, in my opinion. And especially, like, right now. Like, come on, guys. Like, Zygarde, maybe. But I don't think Zygarde is really the problem. It's annoying. It's very good. Sure, sure. But so are a lot of Pokemon, right? A ton of Pokemon. I'd say Kartana is even more dangerous than Zygarde. Like, mostly because that's... Kartana sets up for itself with Beast Boost. I mean, that's... Beast Boost is stupid, okay? Basically a Moxie on whatever stat you want. That's pretty broken. But, 
I mean, Zygarde, for God's sake, doesn't even have an ability. Like, how can you justify banning a Pokemon that does not have a usable ability, right? <sighs> Seriously, like, I don't see it. I really do not see it at all. And, like, how would this, you know, like... Like, how would this affect, uh, lower tiers? You know, with the Zygarde normal or the other one, the 10% one, is that okay, you know? I don't know. I, I really don't. I don't get testing this Pokemon at all. Like, is it good? Sure. Could it be broken? Perhaps, but I don't... First of all, I, I don't see people banning it. So I think this is just a major waste of time. Like, why are you testing something that you know people are not going to be... S that anybody with their head on straight is going to realize that this isn't broken, right? A couple of people are going to be... Like, I guess a couple of people in the council are just like... Oh, you know... Oh, jeez. Let's see if we can get this thing. And where are we at, catch-wise? I don't. I haven't even been paying attention to the streak at all. We are at 31. So shinies should start appearing now. Any moment. Not really. That'd be nice, but. <laughs> So uh, we got, what, a two-thirds chance to get a shiny that's desirable? That's pretty good chances. I don't think Poliwag has any exclusive moves. I think it's only Poliwhirl that has the exclusive moves. Like Low Kick. Which is, uh, I don't know why people aren't running Low Kick. Like, okay, so it doesn't hit. Eevee is hard. Ooh. It hits Melmetal and Rhydon and Golem for 120 damage. So why would you ever not run and I think it hits Mega Gyarados for that much, right? Maybe I gotta check. Because that is what it's there for. <laughs> it's kind of there to check Gyarados. Um, yeah. Speaking of Let's Go Meta Game, I uh, made a bunch of changes to the list today. Because, uh, well, I found out some errors that I had made. Mostly. Pidgeot and Victory Bell. Just big errors. Just really big things. Like the fact that Victory Bell actually does have Sucker Punch. And that, you know, Pidgeot actually has Heat Wave. Like, wow. I thought it didn't get Heat Wave. Of course, I also thought Zapdos got Heat Wave. So originally, I was right. And then I realized that Zapdos does not get Heat Wave. And so I thought that Heat Wave wasn't even in the game. And so, that was wrong about Pidgeot. So Pidgeot is much better than I thought it was. And also, like, Victory Bell gets Sucker Punch, guys. Like, what? And you say slightly viable? Because, uh, that's kind of what it is. It can, you know, beat Alakazam, at least. And, uh, Gengar is going to get burned. But you can just hit it with damage. I don't know. Sword stance again or something. Be neutral and then kill it. Like. I don't know. Wow, there's lots of poly polywags. Excuse me. <clears throat> lots and lots of polywig. Um. Yeah, and then also, uh. Because I was curious. I'm like, okay, what are the moves and the abilities and the. Well, not the abilities, but the natures of Pokemon that are being run right now you know I'm not exactly sure like do I even am I even on base with some of these sets you know like you know what are people running I mean I think honestly people are running them wrong but uh look it's hey hey viewer what's up I did not see you there how's it going man Just doing polywags here. Nothing big. I wonder if that has been up in a, for a while. I don't know. Is this live? Are you here now? I don't know. My OBS is weird. Or maybe that was been up for a while and I totally ignored this person. 
Yeesh. He says, good, how you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good, yeah. Uh, watched my mom's dog all day, and now I'm doing this, so. Yeah, going for, uh, going for a relaxed nature, Polywag. Uh, I don't know why people aren't running relaxed as much, but, uh, like, okay, most people are running adamant. But I don't know why people are running adamant, but they are, um, like, that is, <laughs> that is not the point of running poly, polyrath. Oh, I got a follower! Yes! Thank you! Alright, let's catch this and not mess up now. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright, well, uh, wow, that's five now. That's nice. Thank you very much for following. So, um,. I don't know, what do you want to talk about? Talk about anything here. Nobody's here except for you. You and me. That's it. You and me and these goddamn polywags. He says, I'll tell my friends to follow you. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. I wish I had, like, cool things to discuss, but all I discuss is just whatever's on my mind, which is, I don't know. Usually Pokemon's on my brain, but... I hope we- I hope- I hope for your sake that we get that shiny really soon. That'd be nice. Or not, I don't know. Maybe I'll go for more than one shiny. I usually only catch one shiny and then like... Like, and then that's it, but maybe I'll go for more than one. That'd be- that'd be real fun. What's my favorite Pokemon? Oh boy. Uh, you have to be more specific. My favorite Pokemon in this game or like my favorite favorite Pokemon? Because uh, my favorite Pokemon overall is Jirachi, I gotta say. Jirachi or Darkrai? One of those two. I, I, I think Jirachi for the longest. But uh, yeah, I, I do like uh, Jirachi is one of my favorite. Now in this game, in Let's Go, it's gotta be Melmetal. I, I freaking love Malmetal. Every bit about Malmetal. Speak of the devil. Here. Yeah, my boy. Malmetal's my boy. I finally got that sucker after getting all those candies from, po from Pokemon Go. It's totally worth it, though. It's so good. Such a good Pokemon. I just love its design. I love how strong it is. I love... How it was built just specifically for this game, kind of. But, you know, it's gonna be great later on, too, I think. Yeah, so I've been doing a bunch of battles with Mel Metal, and people are like, especially on Wi Fi, they're just not prepared for Mel Metal at all. Um, yeah. It's a lot of fun to use, though. Double Iron Bash is just so much fun. It just, it wails its arms and. Does lots of damage to literally everything. It's so great. Um, we're getting pretty high on this list. Like almost 50. Have you caught. I have caught almost 50 million polywags. I have caught. I, I guess it's 47. So. And no shiny. Yet, yeah, no. Usually around like 50 to 60. That or it never happens, right? Um, And by the way, like. Most people just go to like 31 and then they just like try and reset the shinies. I, I don't agree with that. that. Oh, hey dogs. Um, Because like if you encounter the Pokemon, you catch it. Like there's nothing wrong with catching it. As long as you know the trick about it running away, like you'll never screw up your streak. Like so as long as I'm paying attention and I kind of get what's going on, like I'm not going to screw this up. Um... But I, I, I don't know I don't know how I feel about the people that just get the 31 and then they go back and forth and reset. Also, when you do that, then it's every Pokemon on the route has a chance to be shiny instead of just the one you're going for. Because when you 
when you encounter a Pokemon, it immediately, I think it spawns another one of those Pokemon, like, a majority of the time. So, catching them is just... You know, it's more entertaining than just going back and forth and resetting and praying for a shiny, right? So. But I'm totally okay with just, like, catching a bunch of these and... Okay, now we're at 50. 50 million. So, any moment... By the way, I've caught shiny Magikarp slash Gyarados already, so, like... If a shiny Magikarp appears, I'm probably not going to catch it. <laughs> I'm probably going to throw it away. I'm probably going to run into it and just run away from it. Cause, uh... Oh, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, I'm totally okay with just catching these suckers. It's fun. Oh, see that there? See that right there? That's the taunt animation. That's the one that says I'm about to freaking run away. So, quick. Run away from it. That is how you keep your streak alive, boys. That is the trick right there. Once you learn that, you own this game. Like, everything becomes much better and easier. So, just a pro tip for all y'all. For you people watching. For a few people. Oh, there it is again. Damn. All right, we got it. Then I have to run away from this one. Okay, we're at 59. Whew, it's getting pretty high. Getting pretty high on the street. Not like outrageous. I've obviously gone much higher before. Especially on chances. Oh, man. Let me tell you about my chancy streak. So, uh, or last time I went, like, actually hunting for chancy. Because I have not gotten shiny chancy yet. So, basically, the best way to get experience in this game is to chain chancy, right? So, I was like, you know what? I'll go for a shiny chancy, right? Right? I probably told this story a billion times, but, uh, so basically, what happened was, uh, no shiny chancy, of course. Uh, I think I got up to like 130 before and that was I stopped catching them because I didn't need to level up any Pokemon anymore so I'm just like okay so you do like the going up and down the ladder method and it was back to the Chansey story for anybody who wants to know so I was chaining for Chanseys did not get the Chansey of course even though I was at 120 or like 130 uh, Chanseys anyway so first thing that happens is that there's a shiny ride on there or Shiny Rhyhorn that appears, right? In Cerulean Cave. And I'm like, I am going for a bold nature, so I'm going to not catch you. And plus, like, I want a chance you know? I was at such a high streak. So I threw it in the trash. I just watched it disappear. Right? So there was that. And then... So I'm going up and down the ladders to try and reset the encounters, right? And as I go down the ladder, I, like, quickly go back up. And as I go right down the ladder, and as as I go up, a shiny Golbat appears, which would would have worked for a bold nature. I was kind of pissed, but it's okay because like, yeah, and I eventually just gave up on the streak because it's like you know what, I'll get Chansey later, you know. I'll do a Chansey streak in the future, and maybe I'll catch a shiny. Uh, have not yet, but it's okay. It's again inevitability. Is the name of the game. 66 polywag. It's quite a bit. I was about to say, is that it? I was about to go nuts. <laughs> like my, my heart stopped for a minute there. It was one of those shinos, you know? You think it's shiny, but no. It's a shino. I forget who said that, came up with that term, but it's a great term. It's great. Because that's exactly how I felt. This is why I bought like 600 Ultra Balls, right? I figured, uh... I'm gonna do a long streak. Oh, well I taunted. Gotta run. Run, 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 run. Unless it catches, of course. Oh, run away, run away, quick, run away. Whew, that's always scary. Can't do that on the shiny, of course. You don't run. I mean, actually... I've been thinking about this, like... 
if you're going for a, a certain shiny, right, and you're like pretty much guaranteed that you're gonna get it, right? Like you're you're confident that you can get it, right? Like, cause if that shiny runs away on you, it breaks your streak. So why not just run away from the shiny if it's about to run on you, right? I mean, if if you don't have a master ball, well, that's the best thing to do. I mean, that's pretty brazy, but you know. I've been thinking about that. Like, what if, what if I'm, I do, I'm out of a master ball, right? And I'm doing a streak. I mean, I don't know why I'd be out of a master ball. Like, if if I have to use it, I'm just gonna go get another one. But, um, but like, what if I was in that situation, right? And I was on a streak of a Pokemon. Would I just run away from the shiny to make sure I get a better chance at catching it later? Like, I think I might. Just, if it's a long enough streak, if I'm at like 30, who cares, right? That's it! That's it! That's a shiny! That's it! I got it! That's it! Yes! 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 Get in that ball! Get in that ball! Yes! Get in there! Yeah! Ha! <laughs> Woo! Yes! I can't believe I saw it! Oh, yes! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I feel bad for the guy that was here. He missed it. Ah! Uh, let's check this sucker out. Oh, yes. I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to see it, you know? Uh, change markings. Do not send it to Professor. That is a bad idea. All right, let's check this guy out. Um... Okay, it's not bad. Only needs one stat to be made perfect. That's great. Um, that's that's fantastic. Um, I think this is a great place to end it. Um, I feel bad for the guy that was here, right? Um. Because, yeah, we got it, boys. Oh, my goodness. Nice, nice, nice. So, I'm going to go and go and snack on some food. And then, uh, might come back with another shiny hunt. I think uh, we're on a hot streak. Let's go. Right? So, uh, I'm going to call it quits for now. Uh, thank you for the few people that showed up to my stream. And, uh, check out the, check out the, uh, uh my YouTube channel. And, uh. Yeah. Or for the people who are on YouTube right now watching this, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to me on Twitch. Oh, that would be beautiful. Um, yeah. And stay tuned for more of these shiny hunts because these are fun. Oh, yeah. We got it. Let's go, boys. All right. This is Salsa Karan signing out. Peace.